um, the same. So I'm talking about this table. If you look at um, maybe February, you'll be able to see that uh, we have aggregated all these values um, for the month of Feb and to every month. So we got all the values, all the values here monthly on table two for the single door, double door, multi door, and the small size door. Now, if you are asked, is the sales of the single door on the increase or on the decline? That question may be able, you, you may, you may, you may not answer that question precisely by just looking at the fingers because uh, you're going to take a lot of time to compare these fingers. Again, when you plot a line plot for all these fingers, then the plot is going to be so much clustered. Let us try to have a line plot. So I'm um, letting all the data from the single dose from um, um, January all the way to December, go to insert, and um, you click where you got the line plot. So you got a line plot here. You can see the line plots are so much clustered. Uh, you may know exactly, in, at some point, even they are overlapping one another. You may not exactly know what is happening. So we rule out the concept of using a line plot because this is going to be so much clustered. So what we can possibly do is we can insert a start line. So what I want you to do is I want you to place your cursor on P21. Place your cursor on P21 and go to insert. Place your cursor on P21, then go to insert. Once you go to insert, you'll be able to see the various charts that you can be able to uh, insert. But the chart that I want you to insert is a, a, a spark line. You got the spark lines here. Let me try to annotate this. These are the types of spark lines that you can be able to add. But the spark line that I want you to add is a line spark line, the one that I've checked. So, I'll insert and I'm inserting a spark line. You'll be able to get this kind of interface when you click on the line of uh, spark line. Well, first you are told to choose the data range. So I want you to choose uh, all the data for the single dose from January all the way to December. Next, you are told to choose where you want the spark line to be placed. Want the spark line to be placed on cell P21. So you can just click here, P21. And you can click OK. Once you click OK, you're going to see our small graphical representation that can be used to visualize data appear on cell P21. Let me iterate the process. What I said was go to insert, then click line, spark line. And the spark lines, these are different spark lines within a lowest column and line, but I have um, stressed that we do a line spark line. And uh, this is what you're going to get. Um, after getting that, if you want to get the rest of the spark lines, you can just copy this like, just like the way you copy a formula. So you drag this down all the way to the end. So you got the spark lines for every single item. We can still try to design this, maybe by clicking on the, on the design tab here, just up here. Um, you can make the axis to be the same for all the spark lines so that you can be able to read them properly. Another thing that you can possibly do is go to the color marker and I want to have um, a green 
for the high points and I want to have a red for the low points. All right. It looks good now. We can still try to insert, to, to insert a column spark line. So to insert a column spark line, I'm about to do this on Q21. So what are you supposed to do is, this your case here on P in Q21, go to insert and then column, choose the data range. So choose the data range, uh, choose, uh, I let all the data of the single dose from January all the way to December. And then location, remember it is Q21, then okay. I can resize this cell just to be able to see exactly what is happening. I can do some small realignment, like I can have the eye points to be marked by green and the low points to be marked with red. And then I can drag this down all the way to the last one. I would make here I got some good visuals that can enable me know if the cells are on the decline or there is a slight fluctuation or they are on the increase. That is the use of spark lines. <laughs>